what's your name? Hi, I'm Julie Caitlin Brown. Yeah, yeah. What so what, do you, what are you yeah. known for? What shows? Uh, I would probably say my best known role is Natasha from Babylon 5. In space that would be her. her. Yes, it is really a woman. Nice. I mean, really enjoy it. And uh, my first foray well, into uh, science fiction was Taika Jada on Deep Space Nine. And then I came back and did Vecor in The Next Generation. Um, I also did a role on Sliders, but that picture is so ugly I don't put it on my table. <laughs> Was it a one-shot deal or a multi -episode? It was a one-shot deal on Sliders. I played the first female Cromat, Colonel Kesh. I think and I saw that episode. Yeah, yeah, she's pretty crazy. It was fun. I had really bad teeth, and I was bald. <laughs> so you were into the whole makeup back then at that era? Well, you know what? You get known for being able to do it, for being able to take the physical challenge of being in that much makeup, the three and a half, four and a half hours in the makeup chair, and having a good attitude, and being able to say your lines because a lot of people the heat and the duress of being in that kind of makeup would start to mess with their brain and they just couldn't remember their lines. Also too the costumes of some of these characters is pretty big like your Babylon 5 one. Yeah. Because how much is that uh, harness that you have on that picture? Of course? They're very smart in the wardrobe department. Most of the costumes are made of lightweight materials so you're not dealing with heavy armature. So. I was very blessed that this was probably the hardest one. To get the whole head prosthetic? No, because this was leather, not real leather, and it was August and 102 degrees. This is mohair. So this was the hottest costume. This actually was not, it was warm, but it was, it, it definitely breathed more. But you know, these are the things you do for your art. But you don't know, us on this side of the TV screen don't know how much it weighs. No. Starting right now. No, if we're selling it right, it looks like it's a very heavy and starting you know, intricate Italian piece. A it looks like a big barbarian gear. And in 30 exactly. minutes, 12 metal um, alchemist will be in end. panel room B. Again, full metal alchemist at 2.30. Right now is El Dorado Scout and Hunter Bullets in panel room A. Thank you. Okay, so we're back. Now we got the interruption then. We're back. <laughs> Let's go back to the harness here. You were saying when we were rudely interrupted about how much that weighed. It doesn't weigh anything. I mean, it literally is a very light piece that's been well-crafted by the wardrobe gal to look like it has a lot of weight, but it's just made of various pieces of material so that it has depth. But about it how doesn't really weigh much. That was? I've seen you in a well, you know, it goes from my shoulders to my waist. So was it as thick as the TD cover? We could say a little bit thicker than that. No, it was thicker than that. It was probably about that thick. Okay. That's yeah. what makes it look heavy on the TV. Exactly. Tricks the eye. Exactly right. So, did you enjoy working on Jay compared to the sci-fi? Oh, I loved working on Jay. Um, I was working with Jim Johnston, my director from Babylon 5, and it was a great set, great crew, very physical role. I was playing a drill instructor accused of killing her recruits, so we were doing a lot of uh, forced marches and boot camp and running up and down hills, and it was intense. So what was your, uh, out of all your roles you've done to date, which is your favorite? Well, as far as science fiction, Tai Kajada was a great character to play, um, but Natoth truly was the best written character, the most in-depth character. I wish I could have done more of her, but the makeup was hard on my face. Um, I just did a really fun part called Tammy Tanise in a picture that's going to come out this year called All About Evil. And for sheer, it's a horror film, my first horror film, and for sheer camp and horror and just fun and scary, I would have to say Tammy Denise was a blast to play. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anything you'd like to say to the viewers of Wasteland TV and Modesto before we sign off? Well, I want to say uh, hello uh, to all of you. This is my stomping grounds. I was born in Marin, California. And please look out for my short film, Thoughts of Suicide on an Otherwise Lovely Day, which will be coming out later this year. Well, thank you. Thank you. And have a nice day. You too.